Hey everyone, well we're here, we got it, finally the Back to the Future accessory pack from NECA Toys. But the question is, is it worth $50? It, it costs $50, so this was a NECA store exclusive and $34.99 and then shipping was $15, which is, I mean, okay? I don't know why this is a NECA store exclusive, especially since there is the, uh, the hangy tag right here, which kind of makes me wonder, is this gonna be hanging up in stores soon? Is it a timed exclusive? Does it make you wonder, is the Back to the Future, like, line not doing well to where they thought that this wasn't gonna do well on its own in stores, so they had to just put it up on the NECA store for $34.99 plus $15 shipping? I, I, I don't know. But lo and behold, here we have it, the NECA Toys Back to the Future accessory set. There is all that goodness. We're going to get a closer look at all of this here in a second. I'm really excited for this one, especially to throw it up with the rest of my figures. So let's just get right into this and get this out of the package. And here we have the front of the packaging, the flux capacitor, fluxing, 88 miles per hour, reset, just the interior of that flux capacitor. Loving the front of the packaging here. Top of the box, Back to the Future accessory set. Warning, don't put it in your holes, you will die. Bottom of the box, all the beautiful people at NECA Toys. Thank you all so much for making figures like these possible. NECA, Real Toys, Universal, don't put it in your holes, you will die. Side of the box, Back to the Future logo, the DeLorean accessory set. Other side of the box is the exact same thing. Back of the box, we have a bunch of product shots here of everything that's inside. We have a nice little read up here of everything that's included. Go ahead and pause that if you want to read it. The thing I am most excited for in this accessory set is definitely Einstein here. Love the little pooch. He's a cute little doggy. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box. And here we have all the accessories out of the packaging, finally. Uh, it's it, There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so... Uh, is that gonna justify it? Okay, look, man, let, let me just say this once and for all. If I found this in store for $34.99, absolutely. But I, what, I, I get it, though. What's NECA gonna do? Eat the shipping? I mean, if I were gonna have uh, one of my buddies find this for me in store and then ship it to me, it'd probably come out to about the same. So is it worth the $34.99 plus shipping? Final answer, yes. That is done. I just, I had to get that out because there is a lot of cool stuff in here. So yes, it is worth it. Definitely. So starting off with the things that I'm, I, I guess I, they're cool. They're, I'm not too excited about, but we do have uh, Marty's note right here. There we go. Focus, you little bastard. But we got Marty's note that he writes to Doc here at the diner right before, you know, the dance and all that jazz. We have the You're Fired note from the Cusco. Cusco? Like Emperor Cusco? Cusco? Hey, the You're Fired note from Back to the Future Part 2. God damn it, Needles, you bastard. And then this is really cool. I, I really like the detail on here, you guys. Let's, come on, it, it's focus a little bit better there. But you can see the jagged edges here like it's been torn because it's the torn phone book page, which is pretty awesome that we're getting this. It's uh, This is from Back to the Future 1. Right before, you know, if, if you want a Pepsi, kid, you're going to pay for it. If you want a Pepsi, pal, you're going to pay for it. The NECA footwear which is obviously the Nike, the, the Nike in quotations, Nike, Nike, Ooh, prostate. Um, anyways, uh, NECA footwear right here. <laughs> um, it's pretty sweet. So we can see there that the coat inside is actually loose. I'm digging that. That's loose in there. You know, uh, you can't take it out. It does close and it will peg in. Um, I, I can't really get it to peg though, you know? There we go. Nope. Nope. It makes the click like it wants to. It feels kind of cheap and I almost feel like I'm going to break it. So, uh, again, it just, it's open like that. This one clicked. Why won't you click? Click, you bastard. It just does not want to click shut. So, um, it, it is what it is for mine. I mean, it's not bad. Or, oh shit. I got it. Okay. I, I'm a liar. I got it guys. It did click shut and it's open. But it, it can shut, it's just being a pain in the butt, you know? But there we go. It does shut, you can grip on like so, and then what's really cool is we can put the Nikes inside. So we do get Marty's 
badass Nike shoes. I wish they lit up or something, that'd be sick. But I guess we can go ahead and put those in there, like so. Look man, I can't get it to close. That's about as far as I'm gonna get it. It does look cool inside. Maybe you can get it to close, but you see, I got it dropping stuff. Maybe it's possible? Are you back on the track? Because you see, it's just on a little track here. And it's very flimsy, you know? Also, I got some scuffage going on. I mean, look at that. Right there. That does not look that good. I mean, unless it's supposed to look a little weathered. I don't know, but I mean, it is what it is. Here we have the out of time license plate, California right there, August, out of time, really cool. Of course you gotta have this in the accessory set, and I love that they included the one that gets fried basically after the DeLorean travels through time for the first time. Both look really good, I like this one more because it's weathered and whatnot, really awesome. We have a walkie talkie! Did I catch a niner in there? Were you calling from a walkie-talkie? No, it was cordless. Definitely can give this to Doc. Uh, he uses it to talk to Marty when they're getting ready to send Marty back to 1985. Back to the future! Mwaha! Mwaha! Terrestrial from the planet Vulcan! Okay, this is definitely one of my favorite accessories, and I don't know why this was not included with the Tales from Space Marty. I, I really don't. I'm happy it's here. This is sick. Uh, we should, like I said, it's the Vulcan Prosper greeting, and they, I, just why could they not throw this in with the Tales from Space Marty? Was was there that much more space? Was this gonna jack up the price that much more? I mean, come on, seriously, it's awesome. There is the Vulcan. Go ahead and you see what I mean? Oh man, get in there! Come on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I just like to be forceful and shove things into holes. <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, how badass does that look finally? We have it right there. And that's always going to be on my shelf. That little hand should have came with it. <laughs> now, they give us a hand for Marty, which is for holding things like the license plate, things that are thin, like, holy shit, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. Yeah, 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 that, which is cool. Or, you know, stuff like the phone book page. Holds it pretty good, if you ask me. We got some plutonium right here, right out of the movie. And you can actually slide that right in, which is cool. The plutonium crate, which I gotta say, this is very nicely done. And we can use this for so many other action figures. I mean, this is, this is great. A great piece right here. I am loving it. Painted all the way around. All the radioactive logos right there, really cool. Let's go ahead and open that up and check this out. Let's go ahead and shove the plutonium right in there. Close it up nice. No clicky sound. Do we got a handle here? Will you come up? No, no, no. Will not come up, so no handle here. I thought that would have been cool if the handle was on a hinge. But like I said, this is a great accessory. How many toys can we use this with? Picture your Marvel Legends, your G.I. Joes, Cobra Commander stealing some plutonium, a plutonium theft, if you will. That is cool. Why did this not come with 1985 Doc? I, I don't understand it. Here we have it. I mean, what do we do? We just throw that on over him? And you can see, there we go, man. Look at that. You couldn't have thrown that in the ultimate box somewhere behind. Make it a little bit bigger. Did it save you that much money? I don't know. That should have been thrown in. But again, it's big and open. I almost wish the Tales from Space one was done like this with the, you know, translucent plastic right there we can see through. But again, just shove Doc's head right in there. And blammo. Blammo? Really, Mo? Blammo? Blammo. That is on there. And you can see Doc inside of there. Look, I know I'm starting to sound like an old record here, but again, talking about accessories that should have came with the figure in the first place. Let's go ahead and take off Doc's shocked face. And God, just put you back there, Doc, real quick. Hold on. Let's take a look at this accessory here. How beautiful, okay? The likeness to Christopher Lloyd has to be NECA's best. I'm not even kidding. I mean, it is literally, look at how good this is. And NECA does a fantastic job with most of their head sculpts. I'm looking at you, Ripley. But uh, I, Christopher Lloyd, Good lord, the likeness to this guy is just 
phenomenal, a phenomenal piece. And look at the sculpting on this accessory. Again, why did we not have this with Doc Brown in the first place for that first ultimate that came out? But man, it is just gorgeous. I love it. Everything's sculpted great. Paint looks fantastic. The expression, the sculpting around his chin, just beautiful. Let's go ahead and pop that off. And the moment I've been waiting for, let's go ahead and line that up with the ball peg right there. Let's not break anything, Mo. You being all forceful. There we go. And <laughs> good night, future boy. There it is, people. There it is. We have been waiting for this. Look at how awesome that looks. So great. <laughs> Love it. Oh, ooh, a little bit of rotation here, too. It's kind of loose. That is sweet. I did not know that. So just be careful there putting that on. But we got a little bit of a uh, bendy plastic here, soft plastic there. So that's kind of cool. It moves. Oh, dude, it totally moves around. That is awesome. Just be careful. But yeah, you can swivel that very little. That is cool. You know, tilt it a bit whatnot that's awesome i like when they go that extra mile NECA usually does the moment we've all been waiting for at least this is my favorite accessory i saved him for last einstein and might i say what a beautiful looking pooch man we finally got einstein now this i can understand one not coming with this doc brown which was the first doc brown to come out because uh this is 1955 doc 1955 doc had copernicus not einstein however which this came out later could it have possibly been an accessory with Doc Brown? I could see it if they made it a bit a big a little, 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 little. Let's try that again. I could see it if they made it a bit of a bigger packaging, kind of like for, you know, the Leonardo hunchback or something, but would it have driven up the cost? Maybe, probably. Like I said, I'm I'm happy with it either way, but Einstein is sculpted great. Looks incredible. Head can rotate all the way around which is nice a little bit of not really too much tilt action going on uh the stopwatch here on his neck his little neck here is loose which is fine rotation here i guess I, that would be his neck chest what is dog anatomy i don't know i, I really don't know but there we go let's focus a little bit better there we do get swivel here at the tail which is nice bring it around to the back uh, just kind of a hollow point here, no pegs or anything like that, but I mean hollow point, just kind of a, a statue kind of sculpt here for the legs or anything, kind of like the uh, Toka and Razar. But this is cool. Check this out. Not only is the tongue painted, which I mean NECA does not skimp out on the paint. Look at all the different hairs, the ear, everything looks fantastic. But look at this. We got some jaw articulation. That is sick. That is cool. I could do that all day. Please don't break. There we go. Oh, yeah. Einstein, everybody. All right, my friends, we've gone over the packaging, the accessories in this accessory set. The one action figure, I guess, if you count Einstein as an action figure. Let's get to my favorite part of the video, the showcase. Here we go. <music> Well, my friends, that's going to do it for this one. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely worth it. Um, hopefully we get it in stores again. Like I said, 
Uh, there, it comes with tons of accessories, you guys. And if you have all the Back to the Future figures, it definitely amplifies the whole showcase of this line. Because there's so much in this box for every single figure. Well, just about every single figure. Not, not Griff or uh, Biff. Nothing for Griff or Biff. No bad guy love. I don't know why. It's, you never know with a Holothon thing going on. Maybe it could be a Walmart timed exclusive. Who knows? I think we're definitely going to see this accessory pack again. And maybe it will show up on the NECA store again. And maybe you will have to pay 15 bucks for shipping. But hey, say if a buddy of yours found it in store for you, you would probably be paying the same amount for shipping, you know? So I can understand where NECA is not going to eat that. But again, 50 bucks for an accessory pack, eh. I mean, hey, the uh, Turtles one is, you know, 60. And I really, really want it. Really, really bad. One day. One day. Uh. But this thing's awesome. It comes with a lot. It's great. And if you have all the Back to the Future figures, what more could you want? Of course, you want to showcase everything that this great film has to offer. And that's what I love so much about NECA toys. They hit you right in the feels, right in that nostalgia heart. They know everything about this movie because they are fans themselves and they go into so much detail. I mean, it's just incredible what NECA Toys does. I just wanna say, I really appreciate you all for watching. This is my passion. This is what I love to do, is play with toys, buy toys, review toys. Hopefully we can keep growing, keep going onwards and upwards because this is what I love to do. To all our one Moscato Bots, you all stay classy, and I will see you all in the next one. Moscato Bots, roll out. Have some more videos! I made them extra sloppies for you! <laughs> I know how you kids like them sloppy! <laughs> Lady, you're scaring us. Ah!